Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's UK Weather Forecast on Thursday, the 2nd of May, 2024. Weather warnings have been issued by the UK Met Office for today. We have a yellow warning for thunderstorms for southern parts of the country. The first warning for the southeastern corner is expiring right now. And the second warming warning across more southwestern regions and South Wales will be expiring at 8 a.m. Current situation low pressures across England and Wales with high pressure to northern Scotland. Winds are coming in from the east, and upper air temperatures have turned very warm with uh, those easterly winds. Though, as we begin this Thursday morning, we've still got some heavy outbreaks of fungi rain across parts of Wales and southwestern England. Some embedded thunderstorms mixed in with that as well. Many central, northern, and eastern regions, though are mainly dry, albeit with low clouds and some mist and fog patches in places. And it's a mild start with temperatures ranging between around 6 and 12 degrees. For the rest of today, low pressure will remain across England and Wales, though we're going to find the outbreaks of heavy and fungi rain, possibly with some thunderstorms across those southern and southwestern regions of England and Wales, rumbling on through the morning and then gradually pushing off into the Irish Sea and the Atlantic into the afternoon. However, further downfalls are possible across parts of Wales, while many other places will stay dry. The best of sunshine will be towards the north and the northwest. A warm or very warm day where the sun comes out, temperatures could reach 21 or 22 degrees, 22 is 72 in Fahrenheit, but where you have a cloud and fungi rain, their temperatures will be pegged back quite a lot, barely getting to 10 or 11. Overnight tonight, another little area of low pressure will start to move in from the east. So we're going to see those showery bursts across Wales carrying on into the evening for gradually uh, dying out. But then by the end of the night, some heavy showers, maybe thunderstorms coming in towards East Anglia and southeastern parts of England. Some of those beginning to push in towards the Midlands areas, further north, staying mainly dry. And again, it will be quite a mild and humid night with temperatures once more between around 6 and 11. 11 is 52 in Fahrenheit. Tomorrow's Friday, see the low pressure right over the top of the country. So we'll have some morning thunderstorms potentially pushing eastwards through East Anglia and the Midlands, especially. And then those downpours will merge into longer spells of fungi rain, particularly affecting Wales and Midlands and East Ang Anglia. We'll probably lose the thunderstorm and uh, lightning potential with that, but heavy, persistent rain lasting throughout most of the day across England and Wales. The far south should be main dry, and much of Scotland and Northern Ireland having a mostly dry day as well. Highest temperatures will be for Western Scotland, up to 20 degrees there, 68 in Fahrenheit, but where you have that persistent heavy rain, temperatures really will be paid back only to around 10 or 11 at best. <coughs> so, sorry everybody, a trough of low pressure sitting over top of the country for Saturday. However, many of the uh, outbreaks of rain and, and fungi showers should ease off. There's some wet weather possibly in the far southwest and light rain drizzle in parts of southern Scotland and uh, Northern Ireland. All in all, uh, all in all, a much brighter day on Saturday. And temperatures not too far from average, about 16 or 17. And then low pressures over the top of the country, really, on Sunday. So, it could be some more heavy and fungi showers for England and Wales. Scotland, again, probably mostly dry. Temperatures a little bit on the cool side, if anything. And still with a low pressure in situ for Bank Holiday Monday, giving further heavy showers for England and Wales, and some light rain further north. And those temperatures, where the sun's out, probably not too far from average, but near eastern coastal areas, quite cool. And that's the weather for its first day. You enjoy the rest of your day, and thanks for watching.